Okay, I quit theater. And you quit theater because you didn't get work? Because I didn't get work. So I, I did... Because I, you were a woman? Because you were a Korean-Canadian woman? Yeah. Blah, so, blah, 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 So blah, I had blah. some... I had some like So I did Dream in the Park, and then right after I did uh, the Toronto premiere, Fresh Off the Boat, which was the Obie Award-winning play by David Henry Huang. Um, also at... They used TF... The, the, the upstairs at TFT. And... Um, <clears throat> And David David Huang came to Toronto. It was kind of a big deal. Um, there were a lot of aspects of that production that didn't quite come together, but still, it was a really important show to do. Um, but then there was nothing at all, nothing. And meanwhile, all the friends that I'd made doing Dream in the Park, and I'm seeing their careers and where their progress was, I could see the measure of difference. And I was getting so frustrated. So I was focusing on writing. I went to the BAMP playwright, uh, the BAMP uh, writing program, and and then I got this job offer to teach English in this remote area of China that had just opened in 1986. So I went, and so so there were exciting things happening. So but for are my you being, parents, are you being polite when you said you got frustrated because you were in a wildly unfair situation? Yeah. You know, yeah, there's Susan Coyne, there's even there's yeah. Anthony Cimolino, also in where's yeah. Richard Clark and also in there's Ted Dykstra and yeah. there is Yeah. Jean. Yeah. yeah. So does this make you politically angry, culturally angry? Uh, where did that go? You know well, what I mean? At that time I what I I could see the difference and that was one thing, like just understanding what the climate was and what the opportunities were. But on top of that, at that time, I was getting angry because I would actually, especially if I was doing auditioning for, say, campus shows, I could see the disappointment on the, or the confusion on the faces of, of people when I turned up to audition, and, and it just got silly. So I You mean started, you walk in the door and they go, Whoa. Oh, there's an Asian. We're not going to be able to, what do we right. do with her? Uh, so I actually would phone and say, look, I'm Asian. If this is a problem, I don't want to bother. I don't want to bother. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. This is mostly for campus shows before where you would just, you know, the time in those days, um, there was no internet. You would just turn up with your resume and your photo, right? So, so there was that going on. And I realized, I realized even, even by the time we were doing Dream in the Park that, that I was going to have to, if I wanted to pursue theater, it was going to have to be uh, in, in the context of creating the theater as we went along. So writing would have to be a part of, of my, of my, of my um, practice. And I was also at the time really deep into poetry and Canadian literature and hung up with a lot of uh, writers and, that, are, you know, that have done quite well now.